Hey everybody, and welcome back to Koali Zoo on my channel. Just one week passed, and uh, here is the promised next episode. And again with me, we have Ivan and the lady designer. Good hello to you. Hello. hello. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. So you, we had some lags at the beginning. Wonderful. I hope we don't have too many lags uh, during the episode, hope because not. I have done something that potentially... <laughs> have you touched my um, stuff? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, yes. oh, oh yes, I have, yes. I have, I have, I have. <laughs> love it, I have, but um, I, I touched, actually I touched everything except yours, oh. lady, I think oh. you are not involved, I feel but everyone so else. honored, <laughs> <laughs> but I think I, I touched a lot of things, um, today you guys will see that this is a major step ahead into bringing the park together in terms of overall guest flow and so on and so forth we will talk about that today will only be a tour because trust me oh. the uh, time the time lapse would be a mess um, honestly <laughs> uh, we will we will zoom out later and you guys will see it a bit why because the backstage isn't done at all I, this what you see today is a perfect fake okay today we do a very good theme park tour oh, we see so the facade everything great <laughs> but uh, everything else is just like don't look behind the curtain <laughs> all right um <laughs> so, also greetings from Mr. Sylph. I was chatting to him um, if we might include something, but unfortunately we didn't ma manage it. I wanted to give you guys uh, the hotel already, but we uh, didn't manage it yet. But <laughs> Talking about Sylph, Sylph. <laughs> <laughs> because he wasn't here the last time either, and that is because we're now recording at Friday afternoons at the end of the day. And Sylph, he has a new job, and he is like having his... Fry me bows, and that is for touch people. We we uh, that's a Friday um, a Friday drink after work, basically. Yeah. Um. So yeah, uh, Silva's excused. He's uh he's drinking instead of uh, <laughs> he's recording. He's basically having Silva's drinking is essentially yeah. the thing. <laughs> So yeah, that's All why. Right. <laughs> that's why, yeah, it's a good excuse, I guess. So, uh, just to give you guys some context, as you might see, and Lady was already pretty confused at the beginning, we are here at the Capuchin Monkey Habitat, yeah. and there you can see an entrance to the backstage, which uh, used to be the end eater area once in a while. Yeah. I have no idea, Lady, what happened I, with them. I have no <laughs> idea what happened to that. No clue. Uh, <laughs> they it's are just gone. gone. But this, this should not be a topic of today's or subject of today's <laughs> episode. We look to the left hand side and first of all, uh, may I give a big shout out to Frontier. They did change the Tedget Cam over time. Oh, mm -hmm. did and they? And they did some great changes which make tours so much more enjoyable. Basically what they changed is uh, potentially one of the most uh, logical things ever and you might question why they didn't do this from the get-go. Now, if you just move around, you're automatically as quick as a guest. But if you hold down shift, then you're running as fast as those dudes in front of us run. Oh. So the speed is now adjusted so we can move around and we are just in a perfect speed, so to say. That's really nice. That's very something good, that very always bothered thing. me. Yeah, that exactly. Was either and too I was too slow or too fast. <laughs> yeah, I was so confused. I was run. I, I was just jumping in Tedget Cam, and all you know, because I was so used to holding down Shift directly, I was like sprinting all the way. I was like, "What's going on?" But then, yeah. Anyways, let's move on a little bit. So this is the Capuchin Monkey Habitat. I didn't change anything to it, but there will be some changes to this area. As you can see at the very end, Ooh. there used to be a wall, but there is no wall anymore. Oh, that's right. That's, this was a dead end, wasn't it? This yes. was a dead end. Yeah. Exactly. This is where it ended over here. Oh this man, is where this the path habitat ended. is just so good. For everyone it that is, is right. new to your channel or new to the series, please show the habitat. It's beautiful. It's made by Mike. Yes. It's, it's, it's so gorgeous. So maybe a little bit of trivia. This area used to be the Komodo Dragon habitat That's at the very right. beginning when I built this um, education center. And um, yeah, one of those many mic changes, <laughs> <laughs> uh, which to be fair, which to be fair, we discussed about it uh, quite a long time. Um, he said, you know what, uh, the Komodo Dragons need like a better spot um, and they deserve a better location. And once we changed everything with Sumatra Island and so on, it made sense that they move in, in their location there. Mm -hmm. um, and so this, this space become free and then the South America DLC came out and this is uh, what Mike did then with them. And I love this habitat oh, because same. the... 
the way how it's integrated is so cool. You can see them moving around here in this outdoor area, but then you have this big house in the background where they can be held in theoretically in the winter times. So you've mm -hmm. got these viewing galleries and you can access this area from what? the inside of the education Was center. Was this so the, cool. um, the Corrales uh, education yes. center? This is the Corrales oh, yeah. Yeah, education center, Aww. exactly. <laughs> this is the uh, sit back, relax and enjoy, enjoy the education center. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, let's have a look into what happened because over here, by the way, it's all work in progress, but it's it's like 80% done. Mm -hmm. um, but this is a brand new area. As you can see, there's also disabled access ramp over here to the right hand side. So I don't want to exclude those people, but uh, we move up here. I, oh, I see you've used some things. <laughs> yeah, I have I have used some things. Exactly. What I just like them too much. Ah, um, that's that's something you will see in the future. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we do not talk too much about it. Uh -huh. Keep it keep it a secret for the people. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um. Bit of you know. As I said, we are talking about facades. This is where the backstage is behind uh -huh. uh, to access the safari tour, actually. Wow, and those over are the here, boots from the aquatic pack. Yes. Oh, um, those, so those I think look so well. I think I need to I need to intervene <laughs> for this. Um, this is a technique that was made by uh, Mario. He is a Pro Nation member. Uh -huh. Of course. He started doing this like I think a month or two ago. And after he showed he showed us one picture of it, and I and I it changed everything <laughs> because all yeah. of us have been using this technique. So we really have to shout out it's him. It's insane. Yes. Can you show yeah, from? Oh, really, you can't really show great. from the top. I think or. I'm no, not yet, but we will okay. have a look later. All right. I all right. need to make camera movement in a, oh, in a yeah, specific right. way <laughs> so that Eben has a reason to be here next week. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Anyways, let's go down into a little tunnel. And yes. this is, um, not to spoil too much, but this is the River Delta tunnel, so to say. Um, there are a couple of things I have to in, uh, introduce. So you will see some uh, aquatic life now in here, but it's not the final version. You can't imagine how hard it is to find suitable footage and it's not the final footage I have oh, over man. here simply so because you know species wise it's not like super fitting right now uh -huh. but it still mm -hmm. does sell the idea I guess so when we go oh, in man. you can already see oh. there's something happening over here so let's have a look here to the left hand side oh, I love look that. that you mad look at <laughs> that oh, I love this so yeah, and also maybe just a little um, hint to Frontier, we have some issues with uh, billboards and TVs that are to too close to each other. So I figured as close as they are, like let's say, if there's not more than like five to eight meters in between, then uh, this one of those two screens is having some issues, unfortunately. Oh. So this but one, as you can see over here. But that's weird because I have webcams right next to each other and I have, mm -hmm. I have no issues with that. I don't know. I don't know why, to be honest. I have no idea why this doesn't ah. work. It's a little bit unfortunate. If I do reload the game and reload this thing, it'll work. But, you know, do this. Yeah, yeah. It, it actually looks pretty neat, to be honest. But... Yeah, you can see this. I think this down here really sells the idea. Yeah, I think it looks very exactly. believable. Oh, I, love um, I this. used some tricks actually. If we move further, you can see there is actually water in yeah, here. So it's an actual water wondering. bottle. And there's even like, I think, I don't know if we can see that, but we will see this from some other angles. Did you just hide like whole some exhibits? Yeah, and oh, there's also cool. um, there's actually like a like a drainage system and a water system oh. in here with some lights and what? stuff. So we will also go yeah. backwards today in nighttime. So this is the this is now in daytime. We go back in nighttime because I also did the lighting. So then we have like another wonderful animal over here. You can see this wow. is just subtle movement. I love this footage, by the way. Oh, so they are amazing. moving. You can see the light and stuff. Um, so these ones are pretty neat, oh, and we will have some that. education boards of all of those. Um, oh yeah, so, we yeah. can make those, and this yeah. is this is completely like this is a tunnel oh, underneath man. a bunch of habitats, and I was like, I have <laughs> no idea how you're gonna do this, Rudy. <laughs> but but also <laughs> but, just but the rock work. Oh, oh yeah, so exactly. Good. Oh god, don't. Uh, yeah, it's insane. It was a lot of work. I'm very sorry that not all of these things uh, work actually. Oh, that's we not you to blame. Work. That's not you yeah. to blame. Don't worry. But I think this one over here, oh, yeah. especially, I love oh, that one. This one is great. so cool because it's like I tried to find. Oh, look at that. Now these one. Ah, okay. Uh, I'm trying to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to show. So don't what dare I to did, peek because then they stop working. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so actually. The, the the idea I had is also you can see they're also matched in a kind of a color way mm -hmm. um, and sometimes the sizes are a little bit of a problem this one if you go to the one meter TV 
it's too small. And now this is the two meter, it's too big. Like a oh, 1.5 meter yeah. version for that one would be better. So I have to do some post-processing, uh, also aligning the colors and stuff. But I think you can really tell the idea um, how it works yeah. together. And I think I find very good footage that really works. Oh, but this great. one over here, these ones, uh, putting like a little bit of a filter above it. This is one of those where I tried it already. Works mm -hmm. really well. Like, you know, the perspective is right. You're looking mm -hmm. from above. So it's really you can see the ground and so on so these things were very important when i was doing this like really f i i would say like 30 percent of the entire time i spent building that was looking for footage oh, because it's yeah, all copyright imagine. free of course yeah. um Ooh, do not I, get any issues here i really love the can ones. we uh, can yeah. we share those billboards with people if they want to uh want to use them oh of course we can we can of course okay. yeah if you can this, send them later i will also share them with uh, with Ooh. my community because i'm pretty sure that yeah, people would love those yeah, I guess it, oh, these are really good. You can all use them. It's yeah. no problem at all. There's like a little plant on display over here. Uh -huh. Maybe we can improve that a little bit. Um, this was just like so. And then we have this. There's like a vending machine in here. <gasps> I completely oh, have hidden cool. that one. And we actually have a backstage access hidden. Oh, in oh here, that's cool. Which is actually connected to the backstage of the education center. I love so, that oh, you nice. use the rocks to, to cover the, yeah. as if it's integrated. <laughs> oh man, I love that, yeah. the little details. It's like, it's, yeah, I love that too, just to make it vanish almost like if yeah. you go in that direction, it's almost hidden away. And it's a, yeah, and it's now a very we come into the thing for Zeus to do, like you can see that so often. Uh -huh. I really love that. Wait, yeah, there's, a, have... there's a rope floating. Yeah, no, 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 this is uh, my mistake. <laughs> don't, don't you just... Oh, that's don't the copy-paste, okay. It doesn't, I it doesn't see. exist. It doesn't okay. exist. <laughs> oh my God, look at the shark. Yeah, and honestly, this is my biggest win, but it's not working, it's no. such a shame. Oh. So we have footage over here, and I even... I even aligned that. I found two wonderful things, and you can see there are also sharks <gasps> swimming. Oh, it's, oh. Actually, it's actually timed. So you'll see that one swimming here normally, and then a couple of seconds later, <gasps> it's going to, see, oh. it's going to come over oh, here. Okay. That's, That's really cool. so neat. And so it really sells the idea, but the problem is that one yeah. down there is not working. So Frontier because fix this, is, this, please. <laughs> it's really like, as, see, there's, there's the one. This is the big one. Oh, wow. And I aligned this. I just cut this in a way that this works pretty perfectly. So when you come down from here, you see the swimming by, and then you see once you're up here, it will pass by again. So it really it's sells insane, the idea. Really. And speaking of selling the idea, we have like a little seating area over here because I figured that this most likely would be the space where you sit down for a moment ah, and, yes. and watching oh, yeah. the sharks and stuff. That would be, you know, you've got the view over here. You can see that. And this is also what I was talking about. I'm going to go a bit closer here. So to show you, um, that's not the finished product. I need to align the height a little bit, but you can see there is this yeah. entire <gasps> thing. Like oh. there's even like mesh above it wow. you've got some, some lightings and stuff so really to make that pop and make really sure that this is kind of realistic okay I, I do want to so, say one and, thing i i yes i'm <laughs> you're moving around in tajit cam in a very enclosed space with like a lot of things and i'm just waiting for it to jump up and you're navigating so well so congratulations on that <laughs> thank you <laughs> <laughs> like, oh I'm, boy, I'm holding my breath like the most of the time like i hope nothing goes wrong <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I, told, I tell you, I'm, I'm, I moved through here so many times <laughs> to spot some problems. You did so some on. practice so runs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, quite, I'm quite happy. So, yeah, then we have like a little bit of bubble machine over here, oh, some, cool. uh, some more uh, vending machines. I thought about integrating like a shop over here. The reason why I didn't do this is because we will have potentially some more shops around the tunnel to the mm. both sides. And the biggest issue I had is just a, a Planet Zoo related one. It would be freaking crowded. Yeah. Like the people would be just madly going into it. So I put yeah. these vending machines in this spot where we have some space, you know, to Makes move sense. away yeah, from it. Definitely. And then to the right hand side, oh. Oh my we gosh. can see cool. there are some <gasps> toilets over here. Oh, oh really? Nice. Oh, and there's like that. a there's like a little kids viewing area. Oh. That's so, if so you cool. just move up here, there you go. This is um, work in progress. This is something, um, there, there's nothing going on in here yet, but uh, this is still a part of today's episode um, because it's just not done and there will be something in. And just to finish up the whole thing, I'm just going to go 
to the final bit of the tunnel. So that's mm. just like a little bit of an exhibition tunnel over here where you can sit down, relax a little bit, you know, enjoy a fresh breeze because it might be hot. And then in here, it's not as hot, obviously. And then we come to something where well, I have to say thanks to Eben because this is, this <laughs> oh, is the this result. Oh, this is a work of, in progress. <laughs> yeah, but this is the result of our brainstorming. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So, oh my as God, you can see, no. this oh, over cool. here oh, is so a fallen fallen temple area. And oh, over here wow. to the right-hand side, this is where the Cayman will oh, be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Um, and uh, it's not like fully done, but you can see this already, the habitat, it's, everything is integrated, backstage is done, blah, blah, blah. It's only putting some flowers done and all some stuff, but this is something I'm gonna give into the hands of even and you lady or whatever, whoever is going to take that <laughs> later, because there will penguins, be penguins, more penguins, behind authors, these walls. Authors, penguins. <laughs> yes, I love it. Because there is something oh, in, love it. hidden away. And just to give you the context, we are now standing right behind the orangutan habitat. So basically, yeah. behind here is the temple that I built in my very first episode. So this What's is now that your like first? ten. Oh my! It's been uh, so yes, long. I think that was my first episode. Yeah. yeah. So the oh. temple is right behind here, maybe ten-ish meters away, uh -huh. and um, this is the continuation of the temple because that's the fallen down temple. Because when even I were talking about this, we were like. Hey, wouldn't it make sense to maybe have like such a cave and so on? And even did share some cool pictures. Mm -hmm. What was it? Uh, which zoo was it? Uh, the Denver Zoo? No, I think it was Bronx Zoo. That Bronx Zoo. Oh, that yeah, has right, like that a, one. a crocodile exhibit. Don't don't ask me which one. I completely forgot. But it, it is completely in a cave, and it looks so amazing. Oh, um, nice. I need to look that up. And and when he when when Rudy said like, oh. Uh, we should do something like that. My immediate reaction was like, oh, 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 I should look up that one exhibit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. Maybe yeah, it's a good thing well, to yeah. mention. I, I don't think we, we have, we don't spoke about it, but I, I think that we have the same pain. But I can imagine that some people are like, why are you not using any mods for this, Rudy? <laughs> hmm. Um, <laughs> Well, <laughs> I got to I think I think first of all we want to make a uh, koali available for everyone yeah. when when it's done. So that's I think the main reason behind it. Um, and mods are finicky sometimes. They can cause some issues. Mostly they don't, but they can. Um, and you know when we were going to be releasing that, we want to make sure that everyone can enjoy the full experience of koali without installing any kind of extras exactly. except maybe the custom yeah, textures. Definitely. Um, and that's that's the reason why. And also who knows? Hopefully Frontier is going to going to uh, continue supporting this game for a long long time and then it might make sense to um, also uh, make sure that the updates are working and yeah. um, with mods you cannot guarantee yeah, exactly. that the updates are working yeah. so this is this is mainly the Definitely. reason behind and now I had the perfect moment to go back into Tejit Cam because I figured editing something pushes you out of Tejit Cam <laughs> <laughs> But this well, is looking insanely good, Rooney. I am, really again, good. as always, You're, so impressed. You it's were, stunning. You were the only one who could do this. Yes. Like, I, when you told me you were going to do this, I was like, I have no idea how you're going to do it, but, you know, do it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. This is... This, <sighs> It, it's insane. You're you're like a magician in this game for real. It's it's unbelievable. Oh my god! I, oh I, man, that's so beautiful. <laughs> when I when I go to nighttime, I usually go like to one or two p.m. But whoa, this looks so much better. Gosh. Yeah, but to be fair, I have some filters on from. Uh, oh okay. Uh, <laughs> Oh. So this is this is also why uh, I just tested that before. But yeah, I wanted to show you guys how the tunnel looks at nighttime oh. because I did do a little bit of lighting to sell the idea from underwater. So I, I read into how they do this in zoos and so on and just in general. And basically, it's a quite a simple trick by lighting mostly like uh, towards the upside. Yes. So uh -huh. just to give the, the lighting from the water to the upside. So basically, you keep the, the lower hand uh, kind of dark. Um, what you would need to do is like security lighting down here of course this mm -hmm. is something i haven't done yet but this would be something uh -huh. and then give some give some highlights you know to foliage and so on yeah. so for wow. example but did you so here. is the blue is that filter or is that lighting as well this is lighting as well so oh, it's, wow. it's not i love it yeah i mean it's we can quickly turn pretty. off the filter just to show you so this is this oh, is how it looks wow. without filters 
It's oh. not really like a huge difference. No. We can oh, just it's, keep it's the insane. filter off for a second. And I, I also like it that like the light is at is pointed towards the top because like if you were underwater, that's where where your main light source would come oh, from. Like exactly from above Obviously. you. So that works yeah. so, so well. So good. And you also have like when you look at the footage of the of these videos, you know, most likely this is what you have as well. The, the, the light yeah. always comes from the top, and then the reflections goes like there. So uh -huh. um, this is how I made this, and you can see putting very subtle elements like some branches here mm -hmm. and there, and just to make sure that you have these things and. Yeah, also put, you know, I didn't put these railings everywhere, but like, you know, you wouldn't maybe knock onto, yeah, you know, exactly. the tank with some sharks. Yeah, let's not do that. Do that. <laughs> let's not do that, exactly. <laughs> so yeah, if you look from both directions, I also made sure that you have oh, a very man. interesting look into both directions. Um, then, beautiful, Rudy. Yeah. My this goodness. Moss really I also really love the mossy or the green patches. I, I, I don't know. Yeah. Like, yeah. It I, feels I, messy, yeah, I, but just so good like yeah i needed i just yeah. added them in very late in it's the process so to be honest um because i figured exactly what you said it looked a little bit too clean it mm -hmm. looked a little bit too perfect mm -hmm. and then i was like no i need to break this up a little because the surface of the water isn't really perfect i'm still not sure like you know the the reason normally i would have gone for gravel down here because yeah. that's what most likely would be the the lower area of our, like the riverbed but yeah. I, th I would you know potentially i think this would be a hell to maintain exactly i but love if, if that you use this texture it works yeah this well. one is great isn't it yeah i i, I figure this one looks good enough and it's you know also easy to clean mm -hmm. and it just looks like still weathered and stuff so i think that works oh, pretty well so you've yeah. got gosh you've got an education point here Oh yes, there is an education oh, yes. point hidden in here. Um, I see and since there, <laughs> since there is a habitat hidden oh, behind here. Oh, clever. Oh, a habitat, where we can, not an exhibit. Yeah. Nope, oh, wow. there is a habitat behind there. And what is so, in there? Uh, not yet. There isn't anything in oh. there, but uh, <laughs> it's just to throw something in. Maybe we take like a ver maybe we take even the the meerkat as like a double or something, <laughs> something that's really tiny. Yeah. You know, it doesn't matter. Just something that's really tiny, so that the people uh, gather around and have a oh, look towards so this area. The poor so, meerkat yeah. <laughs> being used <laughs> as a vista point. <laughs> I, I used yeah. so many oh, of the so snails. So cruel. You did. <laughs> I've used oh, that it's in. So in cruel. In, in Tarmashadi, before we had Vista points, there were like so <laughs> many spots where I used snails <laughs> as oh a fake gosh. Vista point. <laughs> oh yeah, gosh, it's insane, insane because it's, yeah, really. <sighs> Sometimes I wish like we had this earlier on because yeah. the great thing of adding it later on is you have it, but the, the, the bad thing and the big projects, for example, Yosemite is a mess. I'm just re adding uh, yeah. Vista points now in Yosemite, and I did the same. I have some. I have some uh, exhibits somewhere. I've got some stuff somewhere just to get. Yeah, it's it's a mess. <laughs> <laughs> but man, but yeah, Rudy, it looks amazing. This looks really Thank cool. Thank you. Yeah. What I really, really especially love about the nighttime is that, like, because of the bright lights of the um, aquariums, it really gets like yeah. so much more punchy, and it, it just really sells the idea. I, and I think what really is not nice, like, if you if you look at the sizes now, I think the tunnel has a very very believable size. Yeah. The only thing, as I said, is I mean, if this dude is going to come over now to us, gosh, he's so proud. Look at that. <laughs> he's he's having a good time in his job. Um, if you now look at this size, I think this is you know this the beginning where I started, I think the measurements of this are just spot on, you know, mm -hmm. the size of the fish and everything. Um, yeah, I'm still trying to get the footage in the way that this is all fitting. Like these work pretty well as well. Um, those ones over here, not, and those ones obviously not as well, but you know, that's doable. <laughs> but the, so yeah. The thing that I really like about the size of the tunnel is that it's actually a lot bigger than you, than you realize. Because mm -hmm. it, it looks it looks as as if it's like only three meter, but it's much bigger than that. And I really well done on that effect. Because that's thank you. Be yeah, good. yeah. It was a really hard task to do this. Oh, by the way, one thing I really love is um, oh is this look at look at the broken <gasps> texture down oh, here. That's so Basically, good. Basically, that's just the broken temple wall. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. mixed into each other. And I think this works really well because you can Broken switch temple. that in oh, very wow. deep and then even the people do not um, sink in too much. So mm. that looks really cool. Yeah, that looks amazing. So, yeah. 
yeah, that was already the tour, and as promised, we are going to go up in the camera now. Um, I have to be careful now, because I'm not really sure where exactly the Tejit cam is. Ah, okay, now that's that's a sweet point over yeah. here. That's a sweet point. Let's go back to daylight Oof. somewhat. Bam! Bam. <laughs> just put that holy grenade out there. So I'm just going to fly through the tunnel, because then I know exactly where I can look and where not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a pain. Um, well, look at that, flying through here. The performance is just still in in incredible. Yeah. It, it got a little dip, but still, I mean, I'm sharing this with you. I'm having recording software running and so on and so forth. It's still working. How much FPS Freaking. do you have? Um, at the moment, it's around 22-ish, 24-ish. Oh, that's great. Still that's good. really yeah. good. I think mine is lower, but I think you got yeah. the newest graphic card comparing to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I have the 20, uh, 2080 Ti. Oh, um, don't bother. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> that's one generation <laughs> after yours. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's okay. Just... okay, makes sense. <laughs> and it's, it's, it's exactly the one you wanted, right, Rudy? Yeah. Or... <laughs> or am I tearing <laughs> open it up? <laughs> no, 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 no. This is the one I wanted actually when I got it. I was just so pissed <laughs> when they released the 3080. I remember For that. like one third of the price with like double the performance. I was like, wait, mm. what is this mess? Yeah. Um, but but it turned out that I still had the best card available. Exactly. You know, that's yeah. different. Exactly. Because no one fucking got that new card except some YouTube testers <laughs> or some lucky uh, freaking people who were whatever, the most lucky persons in the world. Yeah. Um, and still you don't get that. Like last week it went on sale in one of the German Technic stores and the moment you went into the store it was already sold out because of all the bots, yes. the, uh, you know, Bitcoin miner oh, bots right. and so on. That's it's what you easier. Said. Yeah. It's easier just to buy an entire new computer than exactly. to basically yeah. <laughs> buy that one. So, just to give you an idea, I'm just going to move this way, then I'm not really showing anything. So this is basically where I can go. So here you have a better <laughs> picture. It's really not that big. It's just oh, a very indeed. small area. Exactly. Oh, um, wow. I just made it very zigzag, you know, going in and out. And uh, we have already kind of a little backstage access here. We just need to cross over to this hand side where, you know, the access is. Oh, by the way, talking of which, um, <laughs> I, I told to you that this is the exhi uh, exhibit, you know, and there was always this quirky little staircase that mm -hmm. led into nowhere. This uh -huh. is something I built back then, uh -huh. and this was always leading into nowhere. Yes. And now this one will give you like a direct access to this area and to another area where we are going to talk about soon. And we have, as you can see over here, um, all work in progress. But this is the, as I said, this oh, is where you go yeah. in oh, and then. Oh, I love this. Boom. Oops, there oh. you go, you're in here. <laughs> so, oh, man, and now we so just cool. go boom and we're out. Oh, oh love that. And yes. the best thing is, it's really connected. Oh, because that's, that's perfect. Then Wait, wasn't this the backstage of my Reptile house? No. No, no, this Wait. is the backstage oh. of the education center. Oh, my God. And then God, boom, right. you're with the capuchins. <gasps> so, it's, everything is connected. Uh, that's it really works funny. out pretty well. And now I show you the last little bit, which we've never shown, but I just figured when I was like reshaping this area. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I, you know, I thought, I, I just saw this over here, okay? So this is kind of a backstage area, blah, blah. And I thought that was just like a shell to make sure this looks like a little bit more cleaned up and nice. And then I just went in only to see <laughs> oh. if, I just, if I destroy anything with this tunnel, you know? And then I was like, what the hell? What is this? I was like, what is this? It's the whole backstage like, okay. area. Rudy, yeah, yeah. Rudy like, am I known to making for making just shells? <laughs> no. And then I went down here and I was like, uh, excuse me? <laughs> I There's love like a so home much. shelter for the OKP or KP, which is roaming around somewhere. I don't know yeah. where exactly. But oh, yeah, yeah, this is I this love is this even. Is. This is so good. <laughs> I was Aww. really proud of that one as well. It's amazing. Yeah, this, you can. You better be you proud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Oh, wait. Uh, you wanted to show people from above. So, yeah, this is... Look, this is the little trick you have over yeah. here. So, this is very tiny. And if you have a look behind, you can see this is just, like, giving, like, a nice space. And also in terms of, like, vehicles, you know? Yeah. We still have, like, mm -hmm. some, some good five-ish meters here. So, that's totally fine. Yeah. Um, and uh, there's no big big deal about this and yeah so the zoo that is finally so connected well with those roots like oh man I love that oh, yeah. Yeah. i'm gonna use that i'm gonna use that so much 
he oh you've you've got a lot to use here <laughs> yes <laughs> lots i sometimes use. just go back to kuali like hmm how did mike do windows and stuff you know and, and i make a lot of screenshots for myself and i use it for for city zoo or anything i love that but, but make sure that you always plan stuff. in time yeah because loading yeah. this file oh yeah that's that's definitely oh, for, a thing <laughs> for me it's still for me it's still pretty good what? I mean, like, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. But, but yeah, yeah, it's you okay, to, but... You have to keep in mind, like, Tarmashadi takes 10 minutes to load, and this is takes for me, like, 6 minutes. Oh, really? So that's, like, that's like insane for me. That's <laughs> yeah, but, in need. Yeah, that's it's right. such a difference. But Tarmashadi has, like, an, a, a ginormous lake, and that, uh, yeah, that wasn't the best, the, the smartest thing. Is, it, is that lake oh, causing yeah. a lot of lag and stuff? or Not really, it, not really, but it just... Or just it, the loading. The loading time, the mm. when the aquatics update dropped, our, fi our file went from, um, I believe it was almost, almost 30 megabyte to 70 megabyte. It was insane. Wow. <laughs> oh, holy cow. Yeah, I mean, the water is now calculated in a different way. Exactly. Um, and so this is why. Anyways, this is this is it, guys. I just positioned us in right. one of the most interesting spots, I guess. We can I, just um, take a seat here. I dare to ending. say, like, Rudy, you well really done. did an amazing job here. I am, again, I super impressed and super inspired. Like, I, I want to build something like this now, too. <laughs> I, I just love it so much. So thank you for sharing this. Thank you it's for Yeah, you're this. welcome. It's you are amazing. welcome. It was a real pleasure to build this. Like I honestly I haven't been that inspired to build in the last couple of weeks. <laughs> um, and, and now back in here it was a lot of fun. Like don't get me wrong, I still have and you know that um, you know that too well, uh, lady. Uh, I have a million <laughs> ideas. Oh yes, I <laughs> always want the, your ideas. <laughs> <laughs> the thing about these ideas is um, uh, my, my life situation changed so much with the baby and so on that I have to be a little bit more efficient with the time mm -hmm. that I use into making videos. And the problem with some of those ideas is as great as they are, they need a lot of work oh, in yeah. advance even before I can even start building. Yeah. Um, a lot of research and all these kind of things. And um, something like Ko Koali is equally great for me because I can go mad with the ideas but the groundwork has been done you know there's yeah. already the park you know where mm -hmm. to build things and so on and for example with like all the things for uh, the um, Africa pack now I've, I started from scratch basically building new habitats and new area and so on and so forth and researching the architecture and all that kind of stuff so for me personally it was the perfect segue between uh, being efficient in, in, in working quite a lot on this but mm -hmm. also go crazy with some of the ideas I had in mind for such a long time. The sinkhole, by the way, was something I even discussed with Mike already back in 2019. Oh, wow, so, you did. Wow. Yeah. So, oh. um, again, this just came back, so to say. Yeah. Amazing. Well, thank oh. you so much for sharing this. So, if yeah. I understood it right, next week or at least yes, in two next weeks week. or so. Okay, next week, next week Eben. So, yes. sub, sub to Eben, everyone. <laughs> please do. Because he makes amazing stuff, not only in Koali, but also other stuff uh -huh. on his channel. So, he's super... He knows a lot about Zoo. So, I think in part <laughs> yeah. of uh, when it comes down to realism, you also know a lot and do a lot so uh yeah definitely <laughs> just go and check uh, check out even and then be prepared for his <laughs> official episode as an official oh, yeah. member of our koali crew uh yeah i'm just super excited for that so next <laughs> week too, already <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna do something with this tunnel right um or i am i am still working on the area um in and around the sinkhole that Rudy made. Rudy has already seen some of the things that I've done and I think <laughs> you're happy with it, Rudy? <laughs> yeah, I, I am. You can expect uh, a mic level of change. <laughs> Um, I didn't expect but, anything else from you. <laughs> but, but let me tell you, it's going to be absolutely amazing. Um, and it Aww. feels really that, that, that tiny bit more finished and, and thought through and well thought through. Mm. Um, and honestly, this is exactly what we needed when I, you know, I, 
I, I'm the one to always make the groundwork, and then <laughs> we have to puzzle it together. Exactly. And when I was in, when I was envisioning the the plaza um, where the uh, monkey house used to be, um, I you know I had a, a very broad idea, like a basic idea, but not too much of the final version. And now with the work that even is going to show you next week, this thing is coming together. You really. <laughs> really now laid the groundwork for the feeling yeah. there and then oh. lady you will definitely continue with that because that's gonna be emerging into the area that you will play yes. around with so i can't wait really cool stuff <laughs> <laughs> me too oh, me too this is gonna be fun <laughs> awesome <laughs> all right <laughs> cool then thank you guys so much for being with me again and i hope you guys out there enjoyed the episode yes definitely uh, i gotta say like these recordings together are a lot of fun right yeah, yeah also, i missed it now that i really you, missed yeah, it yeah same same it's real it's i like, really I, enjoyed it i mean it. I mean, I, I keep plugging that in, but I'm just so much enjoying the Scrubs podcast at the moment. Like, I'm, I'm listening to <laughs> the podcast from um, Zach and Donald. I don't know if you guys know Scrubs, but, you know, I just no, I, I just completely so. binge listening to, to this uh, podcast. It's one of the best <laughs> podcasts I've ever heard because mm-hmm. basically what they do is um, those two main protagonists from, from the TV series, mm-hmm. they are talking through each and every episode. They're bringing on the oh. director and other actors and stuff and they just give you like so much trivia tri- and so much background knowledge when they just kind of, you know, when they were having a hangover after a party and then the <laughs> next day they had to record. And <laughs> honestly, the chemistry between them two and later on uh, Sarah Chalk is basically with them in nearly every episode the chemistry between those three it's like listening to three friends it's insane it's so so funny they just make fun of each other every second but still give you so much cool stuff they have a running gag now by um, whenever they have a question that only can the uh, can be answered by the main director of the series um, then they cut him in in. like they phone (laughs) him and then they cut the answer of him in it's insane it's hilarious and I have the same you know the level of fun they have and which translates is I have now with you uh, <laughs> oh. recording that again so that's so cool nice. yeah so, cool. so we, we should that. try to do that and we should phone Mike <laughs> whenever we yes. have a question oh, yeah. and, oh, then, and then we need to cut his answer in so, okay. so Mike it's 2 a.m. especially on 7 <laughs> <laughs> it's 2 a.m. for you right now but we have a question <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a plan <laughs> that's gonna be great All right. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching, everyone. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. And yes. now, um, don't forget to sub to Eben next week. It's yes. going to be his thing. And if you haven't already, to a lady as well. But I guess <laughs> Eben and I are on, on the other side of the fence. <laughs> <laughs> what? Exactly. <laughs> don't be so silly. Everyone should sub to Rudy and Eben. Do it now. <laughs> Have a good time, guys. Right. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. See you. Bye. Bye.